I want to talk a little bit here about this uh, Somalian woman who actually tells her story of infestation. Uh, she tells about how she got infected by the Middle Eastern parasites. She's, uh, she lives in, uh, in the U.S., in Minnesota, uh, where uh, the majority of the actually Zumadis live. Uh, Minnesota is called uh, Little, uh, Little Mogadishu. And uh, I don't know why it's called the Little Mogadishu because uh, the Hawi Mogadishu is actually uh, the majority of the people there are actually of the Hawi clan. And here I think it's the Darot clan. Uh, the Darot clan are the, the clan where, uh, uh, basically uh, where um, Ilhan Umar is from. Ilhan Umar is uh, from the Darot clan. I think she's, she's Majartan. And, and also the Majartan are basically, uh, I think the, the majority of them, uh, the, the Darot, uh, uh, or Majartan, I'm guessing, but uh, I, I could be wrong. But it's actually, it's a majority Darod. And Majartan are actually part of the, uh, the Darod, and they, they are actually uh, powerful, actually, warlocks and sorcerers and witches. I kid you not. And these are the actually uh, the motherfuckers who actually spread the witchcraft among the Zumalians. I kid you not. So, and the, um, they actually practice what's called a Buramburu. Buramburu, I talked about uh, this before. Buramburu is basically, it's a witchcraft, basically, culture where they actually sing for a, an entity, a Middle Eastern parasite called a Mami or a Mami Wata. It's related to some kind of a West African, basically, um, basically uh, sea creature uh, with uh, what they call it Mami Wata or something like that. I don't know if it's some kind of a, um, what they call a divine feminine. Uh, something like you know some kind of a, a, a what's called a mermaid with snakes uh, basically uh, around her and that's the entity they worship that's the entity they say actually uh, is their mother i kid you not and many of these motherfuckers were actually come from uh, what's called the uh, the hadramud area hadramud is basically southern yemen it's a place called uh, where uh, the, the the place of death i kid you not that's what's called the hadramud and so many of these fuckers come from some some basically they come from there but there is uh, the Hawi also claim to come from there a lot of these motherfuckers cl claim to actually come from southern yemen but there is no uh, middle eastern dna so there is no j haplogroup group among these motherfuckers uh it could be that they were women they were these actually um, uh, mermaid there is a snake or demon or these a uh, jinn demon woman because in that part of the world they, it said that they were marrying these actually Middle Eastern basically entities and Zumalis uh, say that the demons, the jinn or the, the jinn people come from Bari. Bari is basically uh, the east and it's mainly the, the Puntland region. But these motherfuckers claim that they actually uh, descended from the, the Puntites, you know, they call themselves Puntite uh, to the, uh, related to the land of Punt, but they're not. The land of Punt was much further actually up in Eritrea and uh, Djibouti and southern um, Sudan. So where these motherfuckers come from, I don't know, but they, they, many of these motherfuckers claim to have some kind of a basically Middle Eastern origin, especially a Yemeni origin or Arab origin. They claim to also, to also be related to the Prophet Muhammad. So go figure. And they spread a lot of uh, basically Middle Eastern witchcraft, very, very, very strong, basically demon, actually a uh, serpent seed uh, witchcraft. I kid you not. And in here, she's talking about how she got infected by her family members. I kid you not. She says, actually, uh, she got infected basically in 2011, uh, 2011. And basically, uh, there was this nasty parasitic energy that actually started basically feeding on her. Uh, basically, so they attach uh, to you a big, actually, jinn. The jinn are these Middle Eastern parasites, the shadow people. Um, you know, if you don't know about the jinn, you have to watch the um, the, the playlist called uh, um, the Jin and UFO, uh, that woman uh, that the uh, that uh, that actually passed away. Uh, what is it like? Uh, Rosemary uh, Gillet basically said that these motherfuckers are at the center of the uh, UFO abduction. They are the aliens. They highly parasitic, basically Middle Eastern, basically entities. That's why the Middle Eastern is Middle East. The Middle East is actually the headquarters. I kid you know the the black goo. It's related to these fucking uh, black goose. The oil is a, it's a culture basically of these uh be, the, the, these motherfuckers created these people. It's hybrid race of type of parasites. So I you have to watch basically Rosemary Gillet if you want to understand if you want to know what the gene uh, are. Basically, basically uh, uh, extraterrestrial. Uh, some say they. Interdimensional. Some say the aliens. Some say the 
they live underground basically in hollow earth i don't know what these motherfuckers but they basically middle east they they they're basically an alien parasite and so they can hybridize with humans like that uh, you know david jacob said and so they create basically a humans a motherfucker will look like normal basically human but it's a and it's, it's an alien parasite and so when they attach these genes onto you the, that motherfucker is gonna feed on you like a fucking vampire and so she's like it was feeding on me uh, this heavy energy was feeding on me she's like and they attach uh, specifically they target your heart i kidding i talked about this uh, basically um and they, they posted uh, i think a video i don't know if it's in the playlist or yeah go you have to go to the actually uh you know the, the videos that i have in the mammy section so they attack they they pray to these parasites they they have f f basically they're made of uh, basically strings some kind of a they basically uh waveform type of fucking parasite and they will attach to your heart and they will attach to your head these are the end but they do they, they basically attach to the entire body and, and like you know like i said but they target usually the head and then the heart and she's like yeah it was feeding on my heart and then they they, they turned and and what they do is like they will create because these parasites are well, basically dark shadowy parasites basically it's like that uh, i added the video uh, the, the with the you know the video the russian necromancer if you watched the, the video uh, uh basically the, uh, the previous video so they 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 get these parasites from basically the it's a death cult these are basic parasites they get it from either uh, through necromancy or they actually worship these shadowy basically uh basically uh figures that actually are made of uh of the, the of death some get it from uh, graveyards and they actually uh attach these parasites to you and then so they scare you about hell and fire so that you can worship uh, these parasites i kid you not and so once they attach to your heart uh, basically the, what they will simulate is basically heart attacks uh, and she says like they actually were actually um, basically they were um, suffocating her like it's like it's the feeling you get when you get uh, sleep paralysis type of fucking thing and so what they do is they simulate basically uh, basically death because they actually get these uh, energies from basically the graveyard these these people are necromancers these uh, middle eastern uh, basically people they like many of these motherfuckers are themselves a hybrid like i said before and so these motherfuckers basically uh, are basically uh, parasites from base from from a dark world where basically death basically uh they they from the they, they from the underworld what people call it they, they're not from this world they're from the world of the dead and so they attach people these parasites and then this motherfucker is going to feed this off your life force and so you will feel that you're suffocating basically your they, they will stop your uh basically breathing and they will stop your heart I kid you know this they simulate heart attacks and basic suffocation suffocation so actually uh, simulate death some actually i uh, want to kill you literally i kid you know they want to basically suffocate you and stop your heart and that's what actually she says she, she they were she, they were suffocating her they were actually stopping the, her heart they were heavy on her heart she says and so she actually went to she says to the hospitals in uh in, in basically in the many hospitals and they couldn't find anything she says and so she actually says that then basically she says she went to see uh, uh you know the sheikhs because they have these middle eastern sheikhs these zumadi sheikhs who read the quran on people and she said uh he read the quran on her and she says like uh, uh she said actually uh no she says she actually didn't know that there was something wrong with her she says and she basically went on with her life and uh she actually says it was in 2019 or something that she noticed the while she was with uh she went uh, to see a shake uh, but uh but it was another woman she actually went with the shake uh she she basically she went with another woman who actually was actually infected she says but she didn't know she was infected she said she went to hospitals and they told her she was fine there was nothing with her and she says she went to uh to a place called uh al shifa they have in minnesota some kind of a these uh, zumadi sheikhs basically run these places where they actually say they remove the middle eastern parasites from people so she went there with an with one of her friends or something or another woman and while the sheikh was reading the quran on that woman she says she started crying i kid you not she started crying and the sheikh noticed something and told her hey if you're crying while we read the quran on you it means you also have the middle eastern parasites uh, he told her i kid you know remember uh 
crying uh, like that that woman that russian necromancer talked about that thing she said if you cry a lot it's because you have these uh, basically uh, parasites on you that they actually get from the the graveyards remember the graveyard they go to the graveyard to actually collect the energy of the death and so the energy of the dead is basically usually people when they're dying they suffocate they get a heart attack and most people cry because like that that's when they actually the soul leaves the body something like that and so they attach these parasites these in the parasitic energies onto you and it recreates basically uh, the death of the person and so that's what he, they say uh, a lot of people cry because these uh, they have these uh, necromantic parasites onto them and if you watch these fucking Middle Eastern sheikhs, when they read the Quran, they cry. I kid you not. They say the Quran has to make you cry. I kid you not. If you go to watch their mosques or their fucking, um, when they're praying in their fucking Kaaba, the Kaaba, it's a, it's a, it's a Saturnian cube. It's a, it's a cube of these fucking uh, shadowy fucking uh, death, basically parasites. So you cry. They tell you you have to cry when the Quran, you, we read the Quran on to you and it has to enter your heart. I kid you not. But in here, the sheikh tells her, no, if you cry, I mean, it's you because you're infected. And so she says, they, they start reading the Quran on her. And she notices that she was infected indeed by the Middle Eastern parasites. And then she's like, then she goes 2020, 2020 hindsight and says, every freaking thing that I was experiencing was this was these parasites. I kid you not. And then she she, te she tells the sheikh what that show, she, she tells this host, uh, the Zumali host, what actually uh, the, the, her symptoms were. And she's like, they were feeding on me. They were actually basically giving me these heart attacks, these heart pains. They were feeding on my, she says, on my head. They were feeding on my back. So basically, the attack, basically, the left uh, basic shoulder blade, that's what they entered. Uh, you know, that that, that American talked about. I, I, talk, I, I, I think I talked about this thing with the um, that, that that american guy in, in new york was actually talking about when he was that um, that sorcerer he was an, uh, some kind of an african-american sorcerer who wanted to learn sorcery with the jinn so a lot of these actually uh the, the a lot of a lot of people around the world use the jinn these middle eastern parasites uh, to actually practice because they, they they say they easy actually uh to get the basically the cheap they basically the lowest form of these uh of the of these uh, there's some kind of a low form of parasite some kind of a astral entities or some kind of a basically n low frequency parasites low frequency entities or maybe some kind of a dead people or some basically incarnated spirit basically they they nasty parasites and they're easy to work with because they say you just offer them some little things and they're able to do your bidding and so a lot of people use these motherfuckers and they basically they spread them like crazy and so that guy was saying they, he attaches, they attach to your actually uh, to the back of the heart. So they attach to, to, they go in the back and basically they feed on it. And then they enter the heart and then they, afterwards they jump into your head and then they in, enter the head. And basically they burn the entire body. Basically you feel like there, you have some kind of a parasitosis. They're basically nasty and they sit basically, uh, the, 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 the place they actually sit is basically somewhere in the... Um, in the nostril uh not 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 not, not in the uh in the belly button that's what they sit on it's like some kind of uh i don't know if there's something because of the there's the, because of the uh the connection to maybe some kind of a the, the, there's uh they sit on the belly button and then the, basically these other places are also like you know they feed on i don't know if it's related to the chakra points but they nasty motherfuckers but they sit actually in the uh in the stomach and then they feed on they they also attach to the head and then the heart and she says that's what they actually they were doing uh and then she says basically uh then the, the shake reads on her the quran and then she's like i i feel a little bit of a base uh basically relief she says but they, they were not gone she says then um basically uh she she, she talks about the with the guy well, what did they, what they did to her she says that they stopped me from marrying me from my from marrying they stopped me from going going to school she says they basically drained me she said like the entire basically uh, time that they were actually uh, feeding on me she said and then she says the sheikh tells her to actually uh you know if you want a full actually relief to go to actually makkah she says you have to go you know kiss the black stone or something because they this motherfucker worship you know a black stone you know the kaaba is a basically it's a stone it's a stone uh basically it's a it's a saturnian cube uh that's the place where the these middle eastern arabs these Quraysh were worshiping 360 basically demons i kid you know 
and so they said they actually now they stopped the, uh, these uh, basic 360 the worship they will worship these 360 and now they worship allah they say nobody knows where where allah comes from allah some say it's hubal it's a demon they were actually doing human sacrifices for for i kid you not uh but they say no allah is related to l they say the uh basically jewish uh, basically god uh l or or yahweh and nobody knows what this motherfucking thing is but they say Allah is the Allah basically worship Allah and then you when you pray you have to actually turn to the Kaaba you cannot actually pray to Allah uh, by but in any other directions so Allah lives in that Kaaba in that Saturnian cube and in that cube there is actually an extraterrestrial stone a black stone I kid you not that's what they they say uh and so you have to go and then kiss they fight over over that black stone they kiss that black stone it's some kind of a basically a mirror you know obsidian mirror the scrying mirror where they actually uh spread these middle eastern parasites uh, throughout the world i kid you not they also have lambs in the kaaba just to google a kaaba uh, inside the kaaba you will see that they have their jinn lambs remember these people are the fire people they, they worship these uh, these fiery entities these the jinns are made of fire i kid you not so they're all connected these are semites these are semitic people but the indo-iranian also people actually worship these actually entities called a deva or a demon or a devil so they're all connected some kind of a basically semitic people or indo-european people and so you he, he tells you to go to the kaaba and worship uh, basically do your actually a, a, a pilgrimage to allah and it's uh, and uh, you know go around the kaaba that b black cube and you will be uh, ridden of these actually a uh, middle eastern parasites she said she says she, she did that but she, and when she came back she it got even worse i kid you know she says they did i even felt worse than before she said eating me like crazy and so she says she went back to the actually uh she went to the hospitals she says and they found she says like uh, some kind of a cancerous actually uh uh basically uh did she, they told her that they found she has cancer so she she says she checked her uh they they said they told her they have these actually uh bumps these uh, these actually a uh, growth uh, uh in her and she says uh uh she she was shocked she actually came back to the shake and then the shake says she, he, he did again uh, the reading of the quran because they, they say the quran actually removes these middle eastern parasites but in here the quran didn't do anything and running around the car but didn't do anything and then she, she says that the sheikh then started writing you know the uh, tahlil the tahlil is basically they write uh they use charcoals and then they write uh the quran on some kind of a tablets what they call law and then they wash the then the, that with the uh, water and then they make some kind of what they call it halil. Uh, some drink the zamzam water from the from the middle eastern wells these uh, these kaaba they, they some kind in saudi arabia they have these wells where they actually drink uh, the zamzam water they say these waters are magical waters and then they can heal people but it's a dirty water actually i, I, I kid you not that's what the experts say it's a dirty nasty water and so in here she says he made her drink uh tahlil tahlil are basically they, they, they use charcoals on tablets they write the quran the verses of the qurans they wash it with water and then they put it in some kind of a basically bottle and then they they make people drink that water or maybe sometimes they just read the quran on water and yeah i think they used to do the the, the charcoal they, they do the, the charcoal basically in zumalia uh, but in uh, I don't know if they actually do it in here, but in in, in the U.S. But some people sometimes they used to read the uh, the Quran on basically water to try to actually change the water, do some kind of an alchemy or some kind of to change the water, and so they make the the, the person drink the water. She says uh, she drank that water and then she puked. She says basically the parasites. I kid you not. She's like uh, she uh, the parasite talked uh, through her and said she was they were sent by her one of her family members, and the in that the family member actually spent four five thousand actually dollars to actually uh, infect her with these parasites, and so they they she said the sheikh make her puke the parasites, and she says the parasites were. She didn't even want to puke the parasites because uh, the parasites said that you know it, it, they, they don't want to waste the four, the five thousand uh, dollars that they actually uh, were actually uh, the, the that was used to actually uh, insert them in this actually in this host. 
and so she says the, the uh, finally she puked the, the parasites she says and she actually felt okay fine she says uh you know she she didn't want to believe that you know the parasites came out of her she says after a few days uh basically she says she actually went back to the hospital and they told her the the cancer actually uh, basically there was she said she had a seven centimeter cancer uh, uh basically uh but basically uh growth and a three centimeters the three centimeters disappears she says the seven one basically regressed to actually three or something like that so she says she puked basically the middle eastern parasites and that's actually that uh, what saved her i don't know if the puking basically removed her parasites but if you watch or if you listen to that russian necromancer uh, she never said anything about puking the parasites actually to get any kind of uh, 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 basically a relief from the parasites and so the parasites they attach to people are like nasty parasites they basically the the, the low form energy of fucking of the underworld or the of the death or dead people energy basically some fucking dead energy that they attach people to which is the energy they worship in their cabo i kid you not so i don't know if this fucking parasite comes out of their mouth when they actually uh basically drink that what they call the water the zemzem water or these waters they read the quran uh basically onto but if you if you watch that there's uh the zumadi guy that somali guy actually in uh basically in netherlands said these motherfuckers these snakes they attach to people basically settle in the in the basically in the stomach but they attach to the other part of the body as well and the, the back is basically when, where where they enter people from and they basically feed on basically the heart the back of the heart i kid you not and they also enter the head the head i don't know if they actually uh basically uh, what actually the head is also where they actually uh turn people uh, crazy at some point the woman said basically the once they act uh, once they get into the head basically you become crazy they can drag you in, the, in into their fucking world and basically you will never come back if you actually follow them i kid you not and so that's how they make people basically go crazy or drag them into their actual realm and they swell the head some people actually like she says like she had she, she they, they, they can also create basically diseases these actually uh you know uh, uh lumps on her body uh, you know many zoomatis get lumps on their actually head i kid you not they and so many go for surgery um I, you know i posted the video where you see these zoomatis basically getting their their fact their, their their back basically uh basically uh eaten some get their head eaten and go for actually uh, i'm gonna post again the, the video for the, the guy where you see the head or go to the uh, playlist with the thumbnail with the with the thumb up the yellow uh, th thumb uh, basically playlist you'll see a lot of the zoom is getting actually eaten and so there is this uh, I, I think i talked about this guy called uh basically Ilayere. he went for surgery he had that lump he said he they, they hit basically his head they targeted his head what's called the uh, qatar or some kind of a basic it was a hit he said uh from a man who actually said his wife actually uh, was liking him because he's a singer is a type is an artist so that zumadi actually wife liked uh, this guy and so uh, she uh she even actually named her actually their son after uh, this guy and so that zumadi uh, guy got jealous so he went to a zumadi warlock or some kind of zumadi witch to actually do a hit on actually this artist he said he got hit in the head and basically the, the, the his crown chakra got swollen and he couldn't remove it he went for a surgery in uh, uh, in turkey i kid you know the whole zumadi uh, basic media talked about this guy many of the mother were angry that you know they said the government paid for his surgery and he tell his if you go to actually a zumadi uh, british tv that's where he actually is explaining he said the government never paid for me he said basically i went there actually with my own money and so they spread these uh, parasites i kid you not in his previous videos he talked about how he actually went to see many uh, zumadi sh zumadi and sheikhs to actually get the quran read on him i kid you not because they tell you if you read the quran on yourself and or if the sheikhs read the quran on you or do these uh, give you these waters where they read the quran on uh, uh you can actually get uh, removal from these parasites he never got any kind of removal he said he had to go you know uh, do surgery because of the disease they created i kid you not they tell 
other people to go to Mecca to do the pilgrimage. You have to pay a lot of money to actually go kiss that uh, pagan, basically, Arab stone, that Middle Eastern, basically, uh, demon culture has these uh, uh, co these black stones, these Saturnian cubes. It's a demon cube. You have to go around that demon cube, actually, uh, and then read, the, you know, their incantations, and they say you will get healing. And yet, people do not get any kind of healing from these Middle Eastern parasites. That black stone itself, it's a demon uh, big uh, stone. It's an uh, extraterrestrial stone. I kid you not. There is a demon in these fucking stones. There's, it's a demon place. But they tell people go to these places and you will get healing. I kid you not. So all the Zumali actually people they talk to all say the same thing. They say they were getting eaten by these Middle Eastern parasites, and each one of them says you know they got any uh, they got healings from these actually parasites by well, with the reading of the Quran. Some say they they, they they drank these waters. So I don't know how it works. But still, a lot of motherfuckers are still infected. Every freaking day, they see a lot of women infected. So I don't know if the parasites are moving from one person to another. Another. But Zumalis everywhere are infected. I kid you not. Like she said, you know, she couldn't do anything. She couldn't work. It's the same thing everywhere. Not only in the U.S., but in Europe as well. I kid you not. They tell you these motherfuckers can't learn shit. These motherfuckers are illiterate as fuck. They don't go to school. They can't work. They can't do shit. I kid you not. That's what they tell you. So I don't know who's spreading these parasites, but it's some kind of a Middle Eastern fucking parasites. Every freaking person that you actually listen to who talks about this motherfucking thing says, yes, it's some kind of a snake like it swirls basically inside your fucking body. It basically eats you. It creates all these fucking nasty diseases and nobody knows where it's coming from. Many of these motherfuckers have hybrids. I kid you not. I talked about these motherfuckers in Buddy, where she from or where these actually people in Minnesota from they have hybrids they've been hybridizing with these middle eastern parasites their king called the man was some say he was a demon himself he spread these fucking parasites many of these fuckers were marrying these middle eastern parasites to create hybrids these Middle Eastern gods are parasites. I kid you not. These these motherfuckers worship basically graves in their fucking Kaaba. There is the, the, the tomb of Muhammad, the tomb of Abraham, they tell you. This is what you have to go and worship. I kid you not. And yet these motherfuckers tell you they're not grave worshippers. They tell you actually they do not worship graves. They actually forbid for worshipping graves. But they do nothing but worship graves. I kid you not. So they, they're necromancers. They get these fucking parasitic Middle Eastern entities from these fucking, their dead fucking ancestors. And they spread these fucking motherfuckers to actually, this, this is called the Qaburian. It's the worship of the graves. I kid you not. Just like that Russian necromancer was talking about. So they spread their fucking ancestor, basically, uh, dead fucking energy. So, I kid you not. That's what they spread. And so they push people into worshipping their fucking Middle Eastern fucking demon ancestors with these fucking jinn motherfuckers. So you don't know what the fuck you're worshipping. But these motherfuckers tell you you're worshipping Allah. Allah is a Satan himself. So nobody knows where these motherfuckers actually uh, uh, basically come from. But the Zumalis also worship some uh, their own fucking ancestor, a, a, a Middle Eastern fucking demon called Al Konin. They say he lived 500 years. I kid you not. And they, and they tell you Muhammad lived 60 years. So this motherfucker is not his picture. It's some kind of a Sudanese guy, but nobody knows his picture. It's the same thing with Muhammad. No fucking body knows what that motherfucker looked like. And so nobody knows what these motherfuckers are worshipping. But many believe that these motherfuckers are basically digging up dead people's energy, dead people's souls, these disincarnated spirits by force. And they're spreading these motherfuckers. They're actually using these motherfuckers to feed on people like some kind of a vampiric fucking Middle Eastern fucking uh, demon. It's a fucking race of fucking demon motherfuckers who spread their fucking ancestral fucking parasites. Their fucking vampiric Middle Eastern fucking parasites. And a lot of Zumalis are infected. Many of these motherfuckers themselves are fucking hybrid. But nobody knows who is the hybrid and who is not. Many of these fucking shakes you think they are human are not human. They're fucking half fucking Middle Eastern fucking demon motherfuckers. But the, the, the DNA doesn't show anything. But the spirit that these motherfuckers carry is this vampiric Middle Eastern fucking parasites. And so this is the motherfuckers who actually were spreading these fucking parasites, basically. It's a crazy shit.